Well, at College of Cumber, we've, we've been really fortunate with facilities. Um, big investment from the college and a true commitment to our ILS provision. Interesting in terms of the shop, I think it's a good way to learn about employability and also it's good to raise money for people who don't have a good life. I hope to learn about more about business wise and such and cleanliness. Because I'm learning different stuff. So like I'm learning new stuff to make. And it's nice. We've developed a, a garden area on the on the on the campus uh, with raised beds and uh, growing fruits and vegetables. Uh, these produce are then used in the restaurant on Ronda um, by our foundation learners. More freedom. You can just, you're free to be yourself, yeah. It makes me feel enjoyed. It makes me feel welcomed. The curriculum follows four pillars of education, so within there they do independent living skills, employability, community and health and wellbeing, with an overarching umbrella of literacy, numeracy and digital literacy. Um, on our Mount Garrow campus we've been fortunate, to, uh, fortunate enough to have a new um, bike maintenance workshop which has been installed at the back of the, the building. This workshop is a state-of-the-art um, maintenance facility. Uh, all the tooling that's needed for bike repairs. And our vision with this is that learners will, will work in the setting and will set up a social enterprise. I think it's a good little workspace to work on the bikes and uh, stuff like that. I, I really enjoy uh, doing up bikes and I hope to learn how to reconstruct them better. In Ashtabmanach, we've been fortunate enough to have a number of facilities. We've got a long-standing green zone area, which is a market garden project. Again, fully operational, fruit and veg coming out of there, left, right and centre. And learners really in the thick of it and, and going through the full growing processes and harvesting processes as well. Um, on Ashtamanach, we uh, two years ago developed the ILS bungalow. And what we've done there is set up an independent living skills house. In this area, learners can go in and really focus on all the areas of independent living, from making beds, to doing some cleaning, putting a wash load on, doing some ironing, making food. This links quite nicely with sort of developing their skills. So a typical day for a learner could be um, going into Western Money, go food, going food shopping first of all, so looking at some travel training, looking at going shopping, uh, budgeting with, with their money, coming back to the, the bungalow, making lunch, cleaning up, and then having a tidy through in the house. So really, really uh, beneficial um, facility to have. So these new facilities, I think they've been, they are essential in the development our learners. Um, they're really going to aid the provision and help us to, to make it a more practical and more meaningful um, experience for, for the learners. At the end of the day it's about preparing the learners and giving them the skills that they need to, to help them in, in their life as they move forward. Whether that be into independent living, whether that be into work um, or whether that be into a further study. So these, these facilities will hopefully give them those skills and I think importantly the confidence that they can do and they can achieve.